Queen Elizabeth may have been headed to Westminster to open the new session of Parliament with traditional pomp and ceremony. But once she got there, she delivered a somber message of austerity as she outlined the plans of Britain's new coalition government. The first priority is to reduce the deficit and restore economic growth. Action will be taken to accelerate the reduction of the structural budget deficit. New Prime Minister David Cameron was sounding off on the same theme later in the House of Commons as he defended £6 billion worth of cutbacks his ministers have announced, the equivalent of $8 billion. The right honourable gentleman has to understand, in the words of the outgoing Chief Secretary, we've run out of money. Yeah. Now, I, I, yes, I don't know what they're shouting about. It is a Labour government that left us with £160 billion as our budget deficit. The British were far from the only ones grappling with the financial crisis. In Spain, lawmakers agreed to cut their salaries. Germans were pushing for fiscal reform, as was EU Economy Commissioner Ali Rehn in Brussels. First, we need to accelerate uh, fiscal consolidation. Second, uh, we need to engage in uh, serious uh, structural reforms. Uh, and uh, third, uh, we need to reinforce uh, economic uh, governance uh, in uh, Europe. All the activity still wasn't enough to calm market fears that Europe's debt crisis will cause a prolonged slump in the region, however. In London, Paris and in Frankfurt Tuesday, the major stock indexes closed down more than 2 percent and the euro tumbled again to within sight of four-year lows against the U.S. dollar. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.